Hello all, welcome to eDraw Max. Let's begin with understanding what a decision tree is. A decision tree is a diagram used by decision makers to determine the action process or display statistical probability. Now let's see why we should make a decision tree. Decision trees are flexible. They effectively communicate complex processes. They're focused on probability and data, not emotions and bias. They clarify choices, risks, objectives, and gains. And decision trees enable you to flesh out your ideas fully before spending valuable time and resources. Now let's look at the basic elements of a decision tree. Decision trees usually consist of three different elements. The first one is a root node. This is a top-level node that represents the ultimate objective or big decision you're trying to make. The second element is the branches, which stem from the root and represent the different options or courses of action that are available when making a particular decision. They are most commonly indicated with an arrow line and often include associated costs as well as the likelihood to occur. There are typically two types of leaf nodes, square leaf nodes, which indicate another decision to be made, and circle leaf nodes, which indicate a chance event or unknown outcome. Now let's learn about different decision tree symbols. The first symbol is a decision node, normally represented by a square to display a decision to be made. The second symbol is a chance node, usually in a circle to show the uncertain outcomes with possibilities. The third symbol is an end node, often shown by a triangle to show the final result of a decision path. The fourth symbol is an alternative branch, which reflects a possible result or action. And the fifth symbol is a rejected alternative, which displays an option that wasn't selected. Now let's learn how to create a decision tree. Click on New, go to Business, click on Project Management, and choose Decision Tree. Before we begin, you must start with a specific decision. In this example, it's to choose Technology A or Technology B for a mobile phone production. On the left pane, you will see all the required symbols for making a decision tree. Drag and drop the square at the left side onto the drawing sheet as shown. Next, draw two circular nodes indicating technologies A and B. Draw branches from the two circular nodes to depict the outcome of high or low profit as shown. Now add the high profit percentage and low profit percentages from each of the technologies. Let's add the triangles to signify the endpoints. The predicted outcome of a high profit and lower profit after using technology A is $400,000 and $200,000, and with technology B it's $300,000 and $150,000 respectively. Now it's time to analyze the decision tree by simply multiplying the value of the results by their possibility. Then sum up the total value of each node from right to left on your decision tree diagram to compare and make the final decision. Since the sum of the profit for option A, $320,000, is higher than that of option B, $255,000, in theory the company should choose technology A as their final decision. Let's add color to the diagram to make it more visually appealing. Right click and choose Fit to Drawing to fit the diagram on the drawing page. Navigate to Page Layout and choose the white color under Background. Go to the View tab. Click on the From Current Page icon to view the diagram in presentation mode. 
Now let's see a few examples of decision trees. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more eDrawMax videos. Please find the link in the description below to try eDrawMax online or to download the software.